Hello everyone, this is Saida and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Today, I'm going to share the summary and critical analysis of the poem An Awe to Death. So, let's get started. This is a lyrical poem in which Tal Kamal has described his personal feelings and thoughts. The main theme of this poem is the ultimate reality of death. In the opening lines of his poem, Tal Kamal quotes the words of Conrad Aiken that our death can occur in the mere lifting of a single eyebrow. He tries to broaden our minds by making us aware of the certainty of death. In the beginning, he also shares the viewpoint of E. E. Cummings. Death is more certain, but the needles of the clock do not stop for anyone. Undoubtedly, human beings love their family and friends and they cry a lot when someone from them leaves this world. But with the passage of time, we see a gradual decrease in their emotional feelings and sentiments for their beloved ones. As time is a great healer, so they start to continue their normal routines as they were living before. The poet further says, as every particle of carbon has a dream to become a diamond, same is the case with human beings. They are all following their dreams to achieve more success and money for their present lifestyle. But every carbon particle stream does not come true. Human beings should not be so sure that all their dreams would come true because death can take away anyone's life at any time. Death is like a cruel monster who is going to eat people in a single bite. People are working so hard to live a luxurious life forgetting that their life and this world are both fragile and temporary. He says that pomegranate is the world and its seeds are the high hopes and luxuries of this world. People are blindly following their dreams but there would come a day when this world would come to an end. There is no need to work so insanely and passionately for a world that is nothing more than a spider web. Its existence can be turned into complete chaos whenever destiny wants it to be. In the next lines, Daud Kumal makes a comparison of a big pine tree that was blasted by last year's thunderbolt with burnt mastics in his ashtray. He says that a pine tree is very big and these mastics are very small, but they have the same ending as they both have tasted the flavor of death. Similarly, death shows no mercy for any person, whether he is a rich businessman or a poor man living on the street. Then the poet addresses the person who is on his deathbed, saying that he can feel his sinking pulse. It is assumed that hair and bones take more time to dissolve. So the poet asks this question that how much time your bones and hair would take to dissolve in the grave? Our human existence is the combination of the body and soul. The love for this existence has made us forget about the ultimate reality of death. The relationship between death and life is like the relationship between our eyes and tears. We don't know when our eyes would bring tears. Similarly, we have no idea when our soul will move towards death. He has beautifully depicted a picture of the grave where there are islands of naked rocks and silence everywhere. Everyone is sleeping peacefully and there is no space for grief and tensions as people had to face them when they were alive. He then remembers his past life when he himself was involved in some bad habits, for which he feels guilty whenever he gets the flashbacks of these memories. He tries to think reasonably, saying that he should forget all those unpleasant things which are making him feel guilty, because he can't do anything now. So the best way is to forgive and forget whatever is bothering him from his past experiences. In the last four lines, he addresses himself and wonders if he is going near towards death or death is coming towards him, whether he was on the floating island or his life was on the shore. He says that no one knows either his life is a deceiver or death is the deceiver. But one thing is for sure, our death is the ultimate reality. We should not be forgotten merely for the sake of this temporary world. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.